Hello everyone. So welcome to the channel of RD Automation Learning. So in this video, we are going to see the test automation interview process for Google company. So one of my subscribers got an opportunity to appear for an interview at Google and on a very high level, these are the rounds. And I'll also tell you in this video that what all things you need to prepare, what all things you need to, uh, what all things you can expect in an interview process at Google. Right. But before that, please like, share and subscribe our channel. Right. Without your support, it won't be possible to uh, upload more videos. Right. So the very first round, you know, it cannot be told as first round, but I would say rather it's a first step. You will be uh, you can ex uh, you can expect a call from recruiter or the hiring manager or the HR from the company. And they will have a normal discussion, a very high level discussion about what you are doing in which company, which project, and what are your roles and responsibilities. So this is a very high level call. They will be also uh, taking consideration into your communication skills, right? And you need to be, uh, you know, you need to attend this call from a good network because uh, it should not happen that they are not able to hear. Otherwise, what would happen? The, the first impression won't be good. So automatically the other rounds cannot be proceeded, right? So this is the first thing the second thing is about the coding round so coding round would be on google meet so if you know you are at a location where you cannot go in the company so it would be at uh, uh, sorry this will be on google meet only for the third it would be on site interview yes so this would be on a google meet this would be a virtual coding round you can say it would be 45 minutes to one hour of coding round depending on the uh, problem statement depending on the programming questions you get for uh, this and you need to write code on google document right and if you are not able to understand the question so please uh, clarify the question from the interviewer because uh, the questions would be such that you would not have seen them earlier but you would know the answer it is just that they are asking in some or the other way right it might be some twisted so now, if one question has multiple programming solutions, then what you can do is you can discuss the solution with them and then first discuss the coding approach. First discuss the approach that you are going to take for, to solve that problem. And then you can, you can write the code, right? He will also ask you to explain the code once it is done, right? So you, you will be having discussion on the solution, right? Let's say if one question is having multiple solutions, then he will ask you to go for the optimize. How can you optimize this code? How can you make sure that uh, the performance of the code is improved? Such, such kind of questions you can expect. Right? You need to analyze the code. Then you need to write some test scenarios. Now, see, being a test automation engineer, uh, you know, you won't be writing the code for the production environment. But yes, they are expecting you to analyze the code. You should be good and, and at analyzing the code. Like what thing will happen if you keep this condition over here, right? So that kind of expectations are there, right? Now, in an on-site interview, there will be four rounds, right? It can be Google, it can be again at Google Meet or it can be at on-site. It depends on from which location you are belonging to, right? In the on-site interview, you would be asked to write a test plan, test strategy, right? About your test automation framework, right? Then you will be having googliness or behavioral kind of questions would be asked. Right. So what what you can expect over here is in the behavioral kind of questions, you can expect the questions pertaining to leadership. Right. Which are the standards, which are the process that you are following? How will you handle this situation? Right. Describe your work process for this. Can you tell me the instance when you had failed? Can you tell me the instance when you took risk? What is your favorite Google tool? How will you test it? Or how will you improve the performance of the tool? How will you do performance testing? Which is the accomplishment that you have done? Complex things you are aware of, right? So once you tell them about the complex thing, they will ask you to explain them about the complex thing. Then experience with unstructured environment. What scares you, right? Predict. So predict the future means uh, you need to tell what could be the solution for this scenario. Backup plan, data driven, right? So these all things will be asked. We'll come to technical skills required as well. First, let us look at all the rounds, right? Talent pool of Google. So once you are clearing this particular, uh, both three and four, 
okay so what what would happen is you would be your profile your portfolio would be placed in the talent pool of google okay over there the hiring manager will see your skills and they will call you for one-on-one -on -one conversation they might have lunch with you they might have some you know uh, food with you they want to see what kind of person what kind of personality he or she is having and one-on-one -on -one conversation they will have with you now if if you are your profile your portfolio which is there in the talent pool of google if it is selected by two or more than one managers right then it's it would be your decision like which team you would like to join okay so that is team matching then at the end would come hiring committee review offer so again in this um you know the hiring committee after uh, the manager agrees and you also agree to work with them then what would happen is they will said they will tell you okay you can join so you don't uh, you need to then go to the hiring committee right and they will review the whole profile the various rounds they will evaluate your performance in various interview rounds at google and they will hire you hire you and they will give, they will offer you some salary I mean, based on the package that you are having right and and they will ask you to join so so these are the interview rounds okay you can expect this kind of uh, interview process for test automation engineer now which are the technical skills required right so for technical skills see test automation selenium and all those things are mandatory but apart from that you need uh, you need to have good command on algorithms sorting data structure graph oops right big o notation apis how will you test particular code how will you analyze this code stack queue then linked list hash map array sets so these are all the things that you need to be aware of and you need to have good command on these particular skills right so they will ask you the question on test automation framework if you are having more years of experience and they might ask you about management project management technical project management and all those things but these things are mandatory you need to be very sure short of on these things and test scenarios test cases test strategy test plan how will you write a test plan for this particular thing so those all things would be covered over here right so it's an on-site okay so actually let me just move this right. so these this is the you know maybe one or two round here or there but basically this is how the interview process is there and it depends on individual to individual level experience also the uh, you know, it depends on how many years of experience and what kind of skill set, what kind of role you are applying over there. So these are all the important things. And this might vary person to person, but on a very high level for test automation interview process at Google, this is how they are. If they, this is how they are conducting the interview. This is how they you can expect that uh, how many rounds would be there and what all things are expected from your profile. So uh, if you are also giving interviews in any companies, please uh, share your interview questions at rdautomationlearning at gmail.com. Also, if you are looking for a kind of a mock interviews, then also you can share your CV at rdautomationlearning at gmail.com. So that would be taken care, right? So thank you so much for watching this video. We would be uploading these kind of videos more often, but uh, please, please do like, share and subscribe our channel. Thank you.